So I've got a video today, uh, all based around Gryfalcon's Hallback and Scorch, and what I realised when I'm using incandescent weapons with my Gryfalcons, it actually improves the damage. So I'll just start off with Gryfalcons. What it does, your weapons gain a bonus damage briefly after you emerge from being invisible. It's a 35% damage increase whenever you come out your invisibility. And I'm using the retrace path with enhanced incandescent. And like I said, I was just messing around leveling up this retrace path and I realised that Gryfalcons is actually improving the Scorch. So I've got some numbers to show you now. So the normal Scorch from the Incandescent without Gryfalcons is 168. That's the number. There's a lot of numbers going on, but 168 is the number applied from the Scorch because I tested this quite a lot of times. And now what you're going to see is me go invisible, activate that. Gryfalcon's 35% damage buff, and you're going to see the numbers increase to 227. That's a 35% damage increase. That's accurate to what the Gryfalcon's buff actually is, 35%. And what I actually noticed as well on top of that, I was managing to get more ignitions whilst I was using this setup with incandescent, enhanced incandescent and the Gryfalcon's. I was getting a lot more, a lot more uh, ignitions than what I normally would. But then my mind started ticking even more. And I wondered if I could go invisible on my solar subclass with something like Rat King and then take advantage of Ember of Ashes. So what Rat King does, it makes you invisible after a kill as long as you reload. So get a kill, reload, that's going to make you invisible and that's going to enable us to use our Gry Falcons on our solar subclass and take advantage of Ember of Ashes which enables us to apply more Scorch to the targets that we're applying the Scorch to. So we're going to get more Scorch, more Ignitions still. And I also noticed the numbers did jump up with this as well. As you can see there, there's all sorts of numbers going on all the way to, all the way from like 400 to 600. So there is like another increase there as well. Obviously, it's not ideal with racking uh, and being on the solar subclass. It's a bit of a bit of a tricky thing to do, but it's still a nifty little trick. And again, I just wanted to sort of say I did see a hell of a lot more additions with this as well. So even more additions. So it might be something interesting in the future. And I hope you have a great weekend. I'm going to have a look at doing something with it over the next couple of days. See if we can max out some ignitions. Thanks for watching.